How is it going everyone? PlayStation Plus game catalog lineup for the month of November has been officially revealed. I am looking at it for the first time so we can react together. I am telling you right now, I haven't looked through this blog post. If we don't have a good plus premium update, I'm not going to do anything about it, but just say mean things on the internet. So let's get right into it. PlayStation Plus game catalog lineup for November. Title notes, The Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, Rainbow Six Siege, Kingdom Hearts 3, and more. Hey, those sound like some spicy games, so let's talk about it. We got Skyrim Special Edition, not the Anniversary Edition, but how about that? Them working with Bethesda. I wonder how, though, that dialogue goes. But nonetheless, Skyrim, obviously a classic. You probably have bought the game 84 times by now, but if you haven't played it in a while and you have a PlayStation 5, it runs really well on the PS5, so um, that is pretty nice. And, um, you know, with new features like Re Master Art and Effects, Volumetric God Rays, Dynamic Depth of Field, Screen Space Reflections, and more. There's a lot to get into with Skyrim. Skyrim is an all-time classic in my opinion. I know some people find it to be a bit overrated, but I loved it from a lot of different aspects. And I was always more of an Elder Scrolls guy than I was uh, Fallout, but nonetheless, Skyrim Special Edition. Uh, great to see that, and of course that does include the DLC, so you can get into a pretty lengthy adventure there. If you bum rush the main story, Skyrim isn't that long, but who really does that? You want to take your time, you want to explore all that good stuff. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. I have some friends that are like super into this game still. And um, hey, good on Ubisoft for uh, cultivating a community of uh, people that are into this game and have, you know, created a long lasting experience here because Rainbow Six Siege, I want to say, came out in December of 2015. So it's been, you know, almost seven years since this game initially dropped. So uh, yeah, definitely go check that out if you want to jump in with a couple of friends. Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 and 2.5 Remix. So they don't even know... Uh, they don't even note that in the title, but I think 1.5 and 2.5 Remix being in, uh, Plus Extra is way more notable than Kingdom Hearts 3. And wait a second! Wait a second, is this on Plus Extra? They're not pulling that nonsense where it's gonna be a Plus Premium title? A am I getting this right? So how do you actually assess if a game's gonna be Plus Premium? Because Borderlands is in Plus Premium, so I don't know, but... I'm not going to complain about that. Kingdom Hearts 1 definitely shows its age. Kingdom Hearts 2, I still think, is awesome. Um, 1.5 and 2.5 uh, will also include Ray Chain of Memories. You also get 2.8, HD 2.8, Final Chapter Prologue. So they're running the gamut of all the Kingdom Hearts games. And that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, you're getting everything. Yeah, so 2.8 includes Dream Drop Distance. Somewhere in there includes Birth by Sleep as well, which Birth by Sleep is solid. Ray Chain of Memories, as I said. Um... And yeah, a lot of content for your dollar there. And Kingdom Hearts 3 will be added as well, uh, which, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 from a gameplay and soundtrack standpoint, really good. The narrative is just like, uh, I, I don't even know what to say about the narrative with Kingdom Hearts 3. And also, Melody of Memory is getting added. Yo, I am down for that. That is an awesome, awesome addition. Like, I already own all these games, of course. I love Kingdom Hearts, but um, yeah, that is a fantastic fantastic upgrade because i feel like kingdom hearts because it includes all the disney characters and whatnot is a franchise that a lot of people that aren't into jrpgs can get into and it's not like it's a slow paced jrpg uh it's got that action battle system and like bro sanctuary simple and clean some of the goaded uh musical tracks for a uh for a video game honestly I I'm, I'm a sanctuary guy i think sanctuary beats out simple and clean but i know some people think that opinion is completely ridiculous so yeah, you guys might uh, have your own opinion on that, but a lot of great additions there with Melody of Memory as well, which is a music rhythm uh, title. Oddworld Soulstorm Enhanced Edition, I believe that was a PlayStation Plus game right when the game came out, so Soulstorm combines intense action-adventure platformer gameplay with a twisted tale of society on the brink of revolution, where your moment-to-moment -moment in game choice will impact its outcome. The Enhanced Edition includes new game mode, Toby's Escape. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 getting added as well, so this is a part of the Ubisoft partnership that they have going on right now. Um, um, where a lot of games are going to get added. So, nice to see The Division 2, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which, you know, that's kind of memes, but nonetheless, um, that is a multiplayer-focused title, so if you want to play co-op, there you go with that, if you have a couple buddies with Plus Extra. Chorus, uh, an evolution of the space combat shooter, play as dual protagonist Nara and her sentient, AI companion and starfighter Forsaken, attain powerful and distinct weapons and combat upgrades, master your ships, unique drift mechanic, and deadly abilities to overcome massive hordes of enemies and take down titanic battleships. What remains of Edith Finch, slower paced, story driven title, but a pretty good addition as well. And the gardens between, excuse me, on PS4 and PS5, a loss in a mysterious realm were causing effect are malleable two friends find that time flows in all directions manipulate time to solve puzzles and reach the apex of each aisle follow the duo as they unpack and explore their significant moments spent together lighting up constellations and illuminating threads of a bittersweet narrative 
Also coming to the game catalog, Earth Defense Force World Brothers, Earth Defense Force Iron Rain, and Oni Chabra, uh, Chanbara Origin. Earth Defense Force is pretty notable. I don't know why they're not like highlighting that more, but uh, nonetheless, pretty solid addition. And then PlayStation Plus Premium and Classics, as announced last week, more uh, Ratchet and Clank games are coming. Those games are all the Ratchet titles that we covered already. Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet and Clank 2, Up Your Arsenal, Deadlock, and Tools of Destruction, all streamable. So no downloadable classics? Sony! What are we doing here? They better, they better be getting this PlayStation 3 uh, non-streaming, um, you know, downloadable titles. They better get this off the ground because they're doing a good job adding these PS3 streamable titles and the roster of games available there is already pretty solid, but man, I am a little bit befuddled by this and I am also curious with Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5, is are those plus premium games? Because they don't say anywhere on that. I will figure that out and I will do an updated video because the plus premium catalog just being a bunch of streamable nonsense, not okay. Um, I mean, it's fine. Like, some people are into streaming games. I get it. Like, I shouldn't call it nonsense, but... Oh man, is 1.5 and 2.5 gonna be a premium titles? Is 2.8 gonna be a premium title? Oh, that would suck so, that would suck so much if that was the case. I would be like, yo, Plus Extra getting you all the Kingdom Hearts titles? That would be a reason to subscribe to Plus Extra if you don't already have those games. But man, if you're talking about 1.5 and 2.5 being in Plus uh, Premium, 2.8 being in Plus Premium, which like on the blog post, I'm literally reading it right now. It doesn't say anything about that, but the header does say Plus Extra in Premium, so I'll figure that out. And in actuality, Skyrim could be a Plus Premium game as well because that was initially a PlayStation 3 game. Um, you know, I'm just looking at stuff like Borderlands being plus premium, Mafia 2 Definitive Edition being plus premium, Mafia Definitive Edition being plus premium, so I will figure that out and I will let you guys know, but uh, yeah. As far as the whole lineup, I think there's a lot of great stuff here, like all the Kingdom Hearts games, Skyrim is pretty notable, Division 2, Chorus, what Remains of Edith Finch, Earth Defense Force, World Brothers and Iron Rain, those are notable additions, and like the Ratchet games being streamable, fine, not a lot of people are into streaming games, but those are nice additions, but boy, what are we doing with this plus premium tier? These game demos ain't enough, these, these streamable games nonsense ain't enough, unless you can get these PS3 games downloadable, and remember, though, Ratchet and Clank 2 and Up Your Arsenal, those are all the PS3 versions, so you ain't gonna be downloading those games, I, I, I hate to break it to you guys, so yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe maybe they'll do a stealth update and we'll get some other titles. But man, that is a bummer there. Uh, that's going to do it for me, guys. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll try to digest this information and uh, let you guys know some more updates. But again, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Sound off down below and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.